Hey, what's up? It's Hazel. It's Azura. And I'm Jermaine. And welcome back to Clemity's <laughs> That delay though. <laughs> All right, right, today is a very, very special um, recording. We are very sad yet happy at the same time. Sad because we are not able to meet each other in real life because of the phase two heightened alert measures. But anywho, uh, happy because we still get to do this three-part work from home special just for all of you here at Hush. That's right. Today, we are in our work from home attire. Pajamas. <laughs> we woke up like this. Yeah, yeah, we woke up like this. Um, but you know, hopefully after this three-part work from home special, we can meet each other again, we can meet the crew again, and things can go back to normal. That's yeah, right, that's right. A little secret that they don't know is that sometimes we wake up like this and we also go to the studio like this. <laughs> <laughs> we actually do. So how it are you true. girls doing? What is everyone up to? Well, I mean, we've been busy, you know, with work. I think for us, we're very grateful that we still get to go into work every single day. Um, we've got a routine and stuff like that. It's just that we spend more time at home eating with family, which is not a bad thing. Correct. I agree with that. I think, like, I also consider myself very lucky to be able to still step out of the house, even if it's just, you know, home, work, work home. But at least you, you sort of get to step out for a bit. Mm, and breathe in some fresh air, right? This is something mm. that I'm really, really thankful for. And also, you know, in uh, Mediacorp, we have like new measures, um, jogs across different stations for safety precautionary measures. We are not allowed to like meet each other. So I haven't seen like Jermaine and Azura in real life for the longest time. Like, I don't think we have ever not met for such long a period of time. That's no, true, I don't think true. people know, but actually aside from Hush, because our belt sort of like, overlap a little bit right so i think they don't know that actually we meet every day every mm. single day that's right we buy dinner together in office you know we we just chill together eat together and we haven't been able to do that for some time but mm. you know how has this new phase two heightened alert affected you girls in terms of like i don't know work your social life your personal life well, I think in general, you know, the whole pandemic really changed the way that we we work as radio DJs. We always mm. have to, you know, do interviews and stuff like that. In the past, we could never do it if, let's say, if they're not traveling to Singapore or it's only right. on the phone. But now we get to see them face to face on video call, which I think is really a blessing to all of us. And, and it's something that hopefully will continue even after this. Mm, like Jermaine right. recently interviewed like Cruella, right? Oh yes. Okay, can I I have a I have a confession to make. Can I make a confession? Okay. Say okay. Well I was interviewing Emma Stone, right? I decided to mm. wear a really nice top. So it was like satin and I had I a black top as well. Ah, nice, right? Then when I stand up, right, I was wearing FBTs. No! <laughs> hey, I was interviewing Emma out. Stone in FBTs! <laughs> That's really all of us, Lovey. All of us. Okay, I got another but confession it's okay, actually. Yeah. Oh, one one level one level worse than that one. I did an interview this morning um, with Alec Benjamin, and because it was so early in the morning, right? So I grabbed the top. I wasn't even wearing pants. Were you wearing a bra at least? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what if you had stood up or something and flashed yourself oh, to Alec no. Benjamin? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I mean, not bad, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, I just sat here and never move. Oh my gosh. I bet she's is... not wearing pants right now. No, no, it's a dress. Are you? Are everybody. you? No. It's a dress, everybody. <laughs> Go to our YouTube to check out Azura without... Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> she's wearing a bra now. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. <laughs> Must double check. Well, yeah. I feel like, you know, phase two heightened alert. Um, It's a bit easier than circuit breaker. In my personal opinion, because oh, at least, yeah. you know, we can still go out in pairs. Mm -hmm. um, back in uh, 2020, during the circuit breaker times, I think it was a bit harder to even, like, go out and get things done. Um, but at least, you know, we are a bit luckier now. For now, we can still go out, two people, and um, I can still, you know, go running with a friend at least. Yeah, and I think since the beginning of this entire pandemic, right, there has been, like, a lot of mixed reactions to working from home. And you know what? There are things that we love about WFH, but there are also things that we don't like as much. So, mm. before that, girls, what are some of the things that you absolutely love about work from home? I feel like in the last year, so because we have virtual meetings with our whole, like, you know, our station, oh, yeah. right? 
I at the start I cared about what I looked like. By now I truly don't care. I am in the meeting with this uh, bangs roller on my head. I'm doing kua sha on my face, and they're so used to it. Watching me do my whole face makeup routine. So I think I feel like it makes us closer in a sense because we see each other in a home setting. It's very nice. Oh, actually, she's oh, that's right. Great. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Now we can take like meetings in the car, at home. You know, you don't have to get ready for it. Sometimes I turn off my camera and I'm lying down. Right. Actually, I hey, have one more confession. Eh. Tell okay, us. So, a few months ago, when I was on my station meeting, right, I had another meeting at the same time. <gasps> so I was on two meetings at the same time with my camera on. Hey, you sure or not? Your boss listening or not? Hey, sorry, not? boss. Sorry, boss. But it was a Fenty <laughs> Beauty thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really love that. So, but but I I listened to both meetings, so it's okay. I was attentive. Mm. Multitasking at its best. For yeah. me, like um, every Wednesday mornings, right? We have our Yes Jason Sun family meetings, and they usually start at eleven p uh, eleven a.m. So I will always set my alarm at ten fifty eight. So that gives me one minute to snooze, and at ten fifty nine, because I don't want to be late, I will enter the stream, and I will be early, and I'll give my brightest good morning, everybody, and then I will turn off my video camera and my mic as well. Oh, that's I can't believe you still snooze, Xiao Jie. You still got time to yeah. snooze. I must snooze one. That's the best part about no lazing in bed, and the best part work from home has given us. Okay, so um, these are what we love about working from home. But are there any bad working habits that you girls picked up because of the pandemic? Be honest. Be honest. Uh, Azura not wearing pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell people eh. <laughs> you just told them. <laughs> maybe after this, maybe after this, everybody will try and book an interview with me. <laughs> <laughs> just to see. Early in the morning, Samo. <laughs> oh, I was damn angry that day, right? Mm, I was right. on a meeting, okay? No and, angry, and this baby. Like, no angry. Oh, no angry, no angry. But my boyfriend made me very angry. I was on a meeting oh, no. and I was okay. talking. Mm. During this time, he came out of the bathroom and he shouted, Wow, I love so I like mess, yeah? Oh, no! It's oh, no. I'm very angry. I immediately, I mute myself. I turn off my camera. Hey, Tian Ma! <laughs> oh, shit! Did he not he know you were in the, the meeting? Part. He didn't know, he didn't know. He didn't know I was speaking. Oh so he just came out. Oh, I love Salim. Was this the, the interview yeah. with Emma Stone? No. <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> but yeah, things like that happen. So this is what I hate about working from home because, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. That's right. But mm. we've also heard stuff like, you know, people going off to do things in the middle of the day. Because now they're working from home. Yeah, I never, I never, I hear people and... Don't bluff, Azura, I don't never, bluff. I never, every day I come to the studio on time, early, all good. Mm. Very all good. good. For me, for me, there is one very, very bad habit that I've picked up because of the pandemic. Okay, I'm someone oh? who loves to take a, a early morning shower. Like a warm, nice shower. But you know what? Since oh. like this entire work from home situation happened, right? I find that I don't take my morning showers anymore. I'm just like, okay, I'll be gross, but I'm just like, <laughs> am I la? at home the whole day? La. Just before I go out later, I shower can ready. And sometimes I just don't shower all the way till like evening time. Right before I have to leave house, then I will pop into the shower. and like, oh, freak, I stink. Hey, I understand. <laughs> no, la. I understand hey, you also this. like that, la? Wait, how many times do you guys shower a day? Can we just... Twice. Once in the day, once at night. Oh my god, Jeremy. I just... What? I, sh- I shower once only. <laughs> <laughs> and that's in the morning or night? Um, night in time. the morning. Because I need to be clean before I go out. But then you need to be clean after you come home also, what? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't don't tell people. We can't, we can't. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Okay, yeah. this is a bit strange, but it reminds me of this thing. So there was one day, um, maybe a couple of months ago, mm. that I was on the way home. I was in the car, and it so happened that um, I was listening to John. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, love songs, love stories. Yes. And there was this woman who wrote him to him and asked for help. Like you know, he's like love guru, right? So right. this woman was saying that during the CB, that was when she and her partner, who is not Singaporean. Uh-huh. had to spend all the time in the house together, right? 
And that was also the time that she discovered that he went for days without showering. Days? I mean, confirm got smell one. What? What do you mean she discovered? Eh, I don't know leh. Eh, I don't know leh. How can? Because apparently, like, he's from a country with like four seasons that kind, and you know how like a lot of them there in winter they just don't shower. But right. Yeah, so like hello. Cannot lah. Uh. Singapore really cannot. Singapore really yeah. cannot. Cannot. And I was like, what? Really? Oh, that's yeah, a deal breaker for me. By the way, break up, break up, hey. break up. But honestly, honestly, if we had winter in Singapore, would you guys not shower for like two days in a row? No lah, cannot lah. When I was in the UK, really? also I would shower because it's not about. I think it's not about not sweating, but actually, ah, uh, in winter also can sweat one leg. Like, when it's very cold, you will sweat. Has everybody, oh, anybody yeah. experienced it? Um, mm, not really. No. To me, not to really. me, like if I don't sweat, I'm okay. If I'm like in bed all day and I really can't head out, imagine snowstorm. You cannot head out, right? I'm okay. I won't mm. shower. Uh, that's that's true. That's true. That's nice and cozy. That's me. nice and cozy. Lucky you guys cannot smell <laughs> me now. <laughs> But of course, that's not in Singapore. Lah. I know it's so hot here. Okay, so mm. this brings us to my next question. What okay. are some things that you have heard your friends do that they know they should not be doing while working from home? I have so many stories. Anyone okay, want you start to go first. first? You start okay. I start first? Yes. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about my friend, okay? I'm going to talk about my very own sister in the next room. Is she there? starts work. I think she may be able to hear me. She may budge in any time now. <laughs> okay, so she starts work at 9am, right? Every morning. But um, for some reason, she has this bad habit of overworking the previous night. So um, she will end at, say, like 9pm when she's supposed to end at like 6pm, just so she can sleep in the next morning. So she doesn't have to start work at 9am. Instead, she can start at like, say, 11am. So every morning, right, I wake up, time to you know, get my day started and it's already like 10 plus in the morning and she's still sleeping and I'm like, dude, aren't you supposed to go on at 9am? But she t- she just texted me. <laughs> she said, my boss got what you want, don't say anything bad. <laughs> no, no, it's a compliment. My sister works really, really hard. Like I, I, I have yeah. to give this to her really, really. Yeah. So like, you know, in the day, um, she will wake up, she will turn on her computer and then she will go back, you know, and just snooze for a bit. But of course, she makes sure that her job is done, you know, like all her work correct, is correct. well done and that kind of thing. I don't know, but uh, to me, it's like, it's so unnecessary, you know, why don't you just wake up at nine, show the whole world that you're online on your Teams or your Google meeting or whatever, you know, show them that you're there, you're available and then nothing will happen. Like there's no issues, no trouble. Okay, so speaking of that, right, I actually saw on TikTok, so a lot of companies use Microsoft Teams, right? right so right, right. You, you actually have to log on and you have to show your boss that you're online. Yeah, but exactly. if you don't move anything on your laptop and you're idle, you're away from keyboard AFK, yeah, then it becomes a way. You get right. what I mean? Yeah, so because of that, um, someone on TikTok actually hooked up their uh, mouse to their fan and then as the fan moves... The mouse moves. <gasps> so the cursor will always move. So you will always be available. Yeah, you'll always be online. Smart, right? Genius. Oh my hey, god. You know what? Um, some of our Clarity followers on Instagram also gave us hmm. a few hacks. And I thought this was brilliant. Okay, yeah, this correct. person, he or she mentioned this. I call myself on Teams so my status displays in a call and nobody would disturb me. Genius. Genius. Where you get all these ideas? Oh ah? my god! Actually, you think like bosses will come and find us or not? Huh? They'll be like these three fellas. Uh, teach my employees all call rubbish. <laughs> 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 these are life hacks worth sharing. Okay. No, but honestly, right? I think that's the great thing about work from home, right? As long as you get your stuff done, you know, like your sister can choose her own time. She prefers to stay late. Right. Like, I would choose that too, actually. Like, she prefers to stay late instead of waking up early in the morning. But all her work is done. And it gives you that, like, flexibility, you know? Mm, that's true mm. as well. But that I, think, I, guess one of the, I guess one of the downsides about working from home as well is that you're expected to be available at all times. Even if oh, it's yeah. in the evening or even, you know, oh. on your lunch break. Because you're yeah, at I hate home. this, though. I hate this. I, I don't think this is the appropriate working culture to have in any company. You know, yeah. Yeah. we should still respect employees' uh, lunch break, our uh, mm-hmm. our own time, you know, away from work. 
So, um, do you guys find yourself napping a bit more doing work from home? Like just taking your little time out for yourself? Mm, maybe not napping, but maybe mm-hmm. like I wake up slightly later. Mm. Oh, then yeah. oh. yeah. <laughs> you get your But I know started. I know of people mm. that will like squeeze in a power nap when they're working from home in the middle of the day, right. which I think is completely fine. Honestly, if I Sister. ever ran a company, right, your eight basket. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever ran a company, right, I would have like sleeping pods for people to take mm. a power nap. I think mm. it helps productivity. Right. It does. Oh. It does. It does. Yeah. And I've also heard of like people um bringing their pets on walks during like work from home. Lunch break, um, uh, buy lunch, then, you know, bring the doggy, go out and walk. I think that's, that's I quite know. sweet as well, you know. More time to bond with loved ones in the family. But sometimes, uh, some employees, uh, I have to admit... Take things for granted and they abuse. A bit, a bit, a bit. A bit. Like, taking yeah. longer than usual lunch breaks, you know. Your company allocates, like, one hour for lunch breaks. You go for, like, a two and a half hours break. And then <laughs> just tie your cursor to the fan so that <laughs> you're available. <laughs> On teams. Yeah, I think these things happen as well. Wait, can I just say, someone confessed to us, right? One of our Mm. listeners. They said, I'm not going to say the name because this one should get in trouble. eh? I had a beer with a friend while on a Zoom call that we both needed to attend. Beer, I think it's fine. You know, like it's not like vodka in the middle of the day. If you need like a beverage, right, Mm. to get you going, I think beer is okay. What do you think? (laughs) I think... The bosses would not be happy to hear about it either oh, way. I scared I know. to comment. Don't want to comment. Our producer actually dropped a note in our script. So she has mm-hmm. a friend who is a teacher. And um, while she's marking her students' papers, right, she drinks. Um, so our producer says that she swears this teacher is very, very responsible. But sometimes okay. the stress gets a bit too much for her. Oh. And yeah, this is when teachers need to be appreciated more. But I also like to drop in a gentle note that excessive drinking is really, really bad for our health. So we really need to watch what we consume. Yes, and don't make your teachers angry, okay? Yes, uh, no angry. <laughs> no angry. Yes. But my biggest fear, yeah, my biggest fear about working from home, right, is being in a meeting and accidentally unmuting myself. Me and too! Talking shit about the people in the meeting. <gasps> yes! So I don't trust general... the mute button. Why? Right. Correct. So I'll check as a general rule of thumb. As a general oh. rule of thumb, I don't badmouth anyone in the meeting. So like, even if I want to rant to someone, right, I do it via WhatsApp, you know, just by typing, texting to yeah. a colleague. But it's so risky to like voice out your thoughts, don't you think? Scary, scary. And sometimes like when your camera is on and you just can't help your face and you just roll your eyes. Oh shit. It has happened happen so me. many times. Yeah. <laughs> yes. my I'll take I'll take pictures of uh, my colleagues' faces and then send it to them on WhatsApp. Like, why so angry? <laughs> <laughs> hey, best part is you guys still have your cameras on. Like yeah. for a lot of my meetings, the cameras are all turned off. Everyone Correct. in the chat, you know, in the video. Oh, call. We're forced to do that. So, <laughs> huh? Really? Oh. Yeah, your boss forces you to turn on your cameras? Yes. Oh. Sorry, boss, but that's the truth. But what do you think of it? Um, as in, to be honest, I feel that it's not always necessary. But I mean, they do say lah, I mean, if you are, you know, not decent right now, you're not dressed or something like that, that's fine. But for the most part, you know, they will just nudge like, hey, you know, guys, if you are dressed, please turn your cameras on. They'll just say that. Uh, yeah. But I have to say, turning on the cameras really does make the entire meeting a lot more productive. You know, just so mm. um, you are always on alert mode. You don't want your boss to catch you like stoning. So you will always put in your fullest attention. I find that when I turn off my camera, sometimes I I just zone off. I just, I just stone, you know. <laughs> oh, Sorry. either that or like you, you do other things at the same time, you know. Because mm. the camera off. And then you're like, I'm listening. And you're then not. you just drift away. <laughs> hey, Azura, when yeah. we were celebrating Hazel's birthday before this entire thing, Weren't you on a meeting during that birthday lunch? Sorry? Oh, yeah! Right! <laughs> right! I, I'm not too sure what you're talking about. You don't about, recall. Right? <laughs> 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 hey, and that lunch went on for like a good one and a half hours to two hours. And, and the meeting was went like, on, on for a meeting? One so and a half long. hours as well. So yeah. long. Yes, yeah, My so goodness. I was having lunch with all of them and I had a meeting that I had to jump into. So um, at some point, I feel like everybody had heard like bits and pieces of that meeting. Yes, she was shouting across the table, Hey, they talking about you! 
true story. Ah yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is the best part about work from home. Like we were in, uh, we were in an actual restaurant. We were in like a cafe, but um, Zura could still you know listen to her meeting. And get the meeting mm. done, get get things done. Mm. So this is one of the perks, I guess. Okay, moving on, I would like to now share some of the confessions from our fellow followers uh, on our Clarity's Instagram platform. So okay. what are some of the confessions that, um, you know, you guys have, have done or like have made? Okay, I see one follower saying that she will take her breakfast or lunch and then go for a nap at one. This does not sound like work from home at all. It sounds like sleep from home. <laughs> <laughs> like lady of leisure life leh. Yeah Okay I have one here right That is super mm. harmless It's just very harmless But it's just so funny okay. to me Someone said During boring conference calls When the webcam is off And I'm on mute I fold plastic bags <laughs> Why ah? Uh? Is it therapeutic Into triangles <laughs> So harmless It's actually but... therapeutic leh. I guess Oh okay So um, This is a uh, This is Like from people, people I know, right? So I know some people, um, they turn on as they log in to their um, work accounts, right? So they're active there. And then, um, and some offices, you know, they do like hour clocking, that kind of thing, right? So as long as you're online, correct, correct. So in the middle of the day, like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. or whatever it is, she'll stay logged in, but she'll go out to like run, go for yoga class. And people are looking for you and you're not replying because you're not there, right? And then oh. come back and then they're like, Oh, sorry, I was um, having dinner. Or, oh, sorry, I was um, taking a call. That kind of rubbish. Ayo, but I wouldn't be able to run or do my yoga in peace. You know, these Correct, are the kinds yeah. of activities that you want to get peace from. But yeah. like at the back of your mind, if you keep thinking like, Oh my gosh, are my colleagues looking for me? Is my bosses, mm. is no, my I boss looking for me? I think they don't care, that's why. <laughs> wow, very savage oh. I love it leh. This kind of mindset Very hard to get one You know <laughs> No, but make people Very angry one leh. Angry A bit, yeah. A bit <laughs> angry really, yeah. really, really, really So uh, another person says I keep my pimple cream On all the time That's the best <laughs> part That's Wait, the best I have a part. question Okay Have you guys Ever attended Your radio station meeting Without a bra on All the many, time Many times <gasps> All the time <laughs> Dude, I wake up at 10.58, snooze for 1 minute 10.59, I have no time, ain't got no time to put on a bra. She never factor in, put on bra time, don't have. Don't need, don't need. My my camera is off anyways. You know oh, okay, I mean? okay, that's fine, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, but if I had to turn on my camera, then I would la. Like, yeah, wearing yeah. a bra, yeah, no. no Are no. you? <laughs> Can see? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about you, Jamie? I mean, you have to lah, right? I have to, I have to, because I'm wearing, I mean, my camera is on, so I have to wear a bra, and I just feel uh, naked <laughs> if I'm seeing my boss without a bra on. <laughs> right, right, right. Unless you, like, pull on, like, a thick hoodie lah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Alright, so um, these are some of the confessions and some of the things that we like to do at home. Uh, not wearing bras taking naps, going for walks. <laughs> but what are some of your secret pledges to relieving stress while working from home? In the first place, do you guys even experience stress? Of course. I think we all experience really? stress, you know, in a different way. But um, when you're at home, you know, it's all about self-care. For me, I'll take a bath once a week. Maybe I'll try to get a bit of a workout in. Just a bit. <clears throat> you guys are workout buddies, <laughs> aren't you guys? Yeah, but we can't yeah, work out now. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right. together. Face yeah. to heighten alert. What do, what do you guys do? For me, I don't think I feel much stress. I don't think I'm a very stressed person in general. Yeah, but I really, really enjoy, you know, especially after being single, I have a lot more time on my hands. I really enjoy going for runs. <laughs> Woo-woo! Single <laughs> and ready to mingle! <laughs> DM it's clarity.co with your hey! resume. <laughs> yes, that's right. We'll do the filtering process. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, you guys got it, okay. <laughs> no, but seriously though, I, I really enjoy going for my 5km runs. I love snacking. I, I, I run to eat. You know, I, I love to have my McDonald's. I, I love to go for my like sinful meals, my Korean food, all that kind of thing. So yummy. these are some secret pleasures. And in all honesty, I think I have put on weight after this like whole phase two heightened alert thing. Hey, you're going to no. roll your eyes at me. Come on. I've been stepping on the wings here. I know. But this, no regrets, okay? 
beautiful month. I'm embracing it. <laughs> embracing it. Didn't you just have <laughs> Max this morning? I did. She did. Look at you mine. Did. <laughs> <laughs> God. Love it. Oh Work from home. <laughs> but to be honest, what? right? I mean, uh. being at home and stuff like that, I think Azura can relate to this one. You shop a lot more, right? Oh, right. She's the shopping queen among us three, lah. She, she is. She is. She is. How mm, many packages you have in a week? I have a confession. Later, later, later. I take picture and show you all. Okay, but I'm okay. gonna tell you first what's going on mm. right here now. Okay. So, um, usually I take my calls outside. Today I decided to do it in my room. So in this corner of my room, where I have a sofa here. So because it's like in the middle of nowhere, right? Um, I was a bit lazy to like bring in a desk or set up a desk. So I tell you something, okay? Mm, the laptop is on a chair, but the chair is not high enough, right? So the laptop is on an LV box. Um, the mic, I've shifted it here. Oh. So The mic LV, is on your LV bag. It's an LV box and a Chanel box that come top of each other. Oh! And the mic is here. Hey, can you take a picture oh, of this setup for us later on? You have to take a photo for us. <laughs> The most expensive mic stand ever. Exactly. Can wow. I just share with you what I use as a stand? Okay. Very easy. Yeah. Ironing board. <laughs> That's what, what I always do. The ironing board. Because you can adjust the level, right? So according to the height of your chair, you can adjust the level of the ironing board. However tall or high you want your cameras to be, your mics to be, yeah. your ironing board has got it covered. But what is you're on a call and then your mother needs to iron clothes? <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> My mom can wait. Me, me. Oh, me. Wow, see, this is the difference in our lifestyle. Budget versus, wow, LV and Chanel. <laughs> no, just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But shopping is a problem. It's a big problem. Yeah. I'm going to touch about shopping in a short while because I think mm. we're all very guilty of it. Huh? <laughs> right. Um, But like for me, right, I... I I don't get very stressed like Okay, okay. So, uh, confession time. A guilty, okay. no, it's not a guilty pleasure. It's like a habit that I can't get rid of. It's a bit strange, huh? But it's like a known thing in this house, right? That, and it's a running joke as well, that Azura spends two hours of her day, every day, walking around aimlessly trying to sort out her thoughts. So, huh? <laughs> Is that really you? Yes, but it's not... <laughs> Not two hours, one shot lah. So basically, because I do it so much, right, that if you add it up into a day, they think that it's probably like two hours lah. But so basically, because I have so much to do, and I'm always like, before I do it, I'm like, okay, I have to do this and that. So I have to walk around lah. So I'm walking around the house. I, oh my goodness, I have so much things to do. Or like, oh, okay, I need to do this first. And then this. <laughs> but do you actually get things done? Mm, after that lah, after I walk for like <laughs> a minute, and then I get it done. And then I stress again, I have to walk for another minute. Okay. Just rambling on to myself or just like... I'm very stressed out by this. I'm going to go walk. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's actually a very good way to, to get your thoughts out of the way, you know. I For me, so, how, yeah. I handle, yeah, how I handle this is I like to make to-do lists. Mm. Every tiny little thing that I have to do, even if it's just to, you know, just take one minute to breathe. I like to write it down. Breathe. Oh. Mm, mm, oh. Every little thing goes onto my to-do list and then when I'm done right, it, like, I will check go it. Go toilet. Go uh, outside. If I have to... If I have to, go and poop, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Play a game of Rami, this kind of thing. Okay. But it really helps, la. I think it, 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 you know, for different people, different kind of things work. So right. for yeah. Azura, walking around, pacing around works, and of course, retail therapy. You know what? Oh. Retail therapy really does make you feel healthier. Research has shown now there's actually a lot of psychological and therapeutic value when you are shopping. Keywords. If done in moderation. <laughs> Azura, keywords, moderation. okay? <laughs> for sure. Moderation. moderation for sure. Hey, but actually, so, you know, right? Mm. This entire, like, CB pandemic and everything it has uh, affected, like, a lot of industries. But there are many others that have benefited from this. E-commerce! Like, E-commerce, yes! Like, studies have shown that, you know, there's a huge major increase. Thanks to people right. like us, lah. Right, and why is that so? Because whether you're adding items to your shopping cart online or, you know, just visiting your favourite outlet for a few hours, you do get an emotional boost and it makes you happier amidst the tough times, right? That's right. And while Definitely. you anticipate the package and while you're waiting for it, you're excited. And you're like, hmm! <laughs> so that, you know, 
Not bad lah, you spend a bit, it keeps you happy for a couple of days. Right, 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 right. And I've seen many of my friends post on their Instagram stories, things like, you know, um, when I'm upset, I buy shoes. Oh. That kind of thing. And it has gotten to the extent that she made her father clear his shoes from the cabinet, so, so there's more space for her own shoes. <laughs> yeah, but can't go out there, then the shoes don't wear go well there. Yeah, that's right. Exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. So... I don't know. Like, I mean, I think retail therapy sometimes it, it definitely does help, but you also have to factor in how much um time, like uh, for the duration. You know, it can make you happy. Is it just for a few days? If it is, then is it worth it or not? Well, but I think honestly, it's a pandemic. Do whatever right. makes you happy. Like if right. shopping makes you happy, opening clothes, doing a haul, do whatever makes you happy. In right. moderation. In, in, moderation. <laughs> in moderation. In moderation. So yes. honest it's question. Like, it doesn't affect you. Yeah. Right. Do both of you find yourself shopping a lot more now that um, we are in the phase two heightened alert? Uh, Online, I mean. I had a very big purchase just a few weeks ago mm, <gasps> what from is Shein. Oh. I bought. There were how many items in my cart? I think 50 items in my cart. You, you, you checked out 50 items from an online platform? Yeah. How, uh, how much is you spend? That moderation. Uh? <laughs> Babe, can uh, we see the haul? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do a haul? This one from Shein. Oh! <laughs> but um, how much did I spend? Uh? I, I don't say lah. Little my mother scold me. <laughs> but you know, when we shop online, right? I think one of the most important things is, um, can I return it? Let's say if it doesn't fit. Because I don't know if it fits or not, right? right. Mm. Like for example, I ordered five pairs of jeans. I had to return them all because they were all too small. Clearly, I ate a lot also like Hazy. <laughs> no! You got booty, baby! Yeah, you got booty. But I think a lot of like online platforms now, they offer free returns, right? As long as it's within like a, a certain amount of days, uh, yeah. you can just return it absolutely for free. But that's also the issue. For some online platforms, right, the, the clothing are so cheap. You can get them for like three, four bucks a top. You just don't find the need to return them, even if it doesn't feed you well. Mm. Do you think so? Also I wouldn't. Uh, if it's three, four bucks, I wouldn't. Uh. Right? Yeah. Right, so where are some of the online shops that you girls buy your things from? Uh, we mentioned Sheen just now. I know Azura's favourite. ASOS! <laughs> every when time, every single day. Hey, where do you get this? Where do you get this? Uh, you know lah. ASOS. <laughs> it's true, it's true. But other than ASOS, okay, so why I like ASOS so much is because they have all the brands there. And sometimes it's brand you don't know, you're not familiar with, they don't have stores in Singapore, that kind of thing. Now cannot travel, yeah. ma, right? So because mm. it's all there, right? It's like, wow, like Candyland, you know? Like many, many choices. Oh. oh mm. But because it's from the UK, right? So delivery is a little bit longer. Lah. So if ah. I want fast, fast, right? Then I go to Zalora because Zalora is also like multi-brand. They have everything right. there, right? right Correct. Right. And they're very fast, like, really very fast. Oh, have you super ever... Fast. Super fast. Do you know that it comes like the next day? The next day? The yeah. next day. They will actually show you on the app like if this item can be delivered the next day. So sometimes right. I'm like in a rush and I really need something, right? For an event or something. Then Zalora is oh. the way to go, yeah. Correct. Wow, nice. Oh. I didn't know this, but what I do know about Zalora is they have 30 days free return. So you know, that jeans issue, if it doesn't fit five pairs of them, you can just return them within 30 days absolutely for free. And cool. um, I also appreciate that they sell not just clothes, lah, but also you know, lifestyle items and food as well. Huh? Wow, I'm shocked to even right. find that out. Right. I'm going to go check it out right now. Hey, you know we're talking so much about this. Uh, we should might as well just offer a discount code for our listeners or something. Hey, give Zalora, me a you want to talk to us or not? Give can discount we? code. Woo! Discount code! <laughs> then we can okay. use the discount code also. <laughs> exactly. If we really have it right, we'll share it with you guys. Okay, next episode. Yeah. Alright, so before we end this episode, talking about online shopping, I'd just like to share that, you know, in Australia, during their lockdown last year, there was one department store that claimed that the sales of lingerie and other intimate apparel jumped by 400%. Oh my god. Huh? Four times, no. four folds. Why? People are eh? really busy at home. La. Work from because home, now oh, everybody at home together, so my sexy time look nice. <laughs> uh, sexy I wouldn't. No, no thank hey, you. I I would lah. I've bought quite a bit of lingerie lah. Huh? Don't nobody would wear for lah, but you know it's happy yeah. <laughs> I'm more like take me as I come. If not, then do one. Oh, correct, correct, correct. 
Okay, okay. Uh, we are running out of time this episode, so we will continue this conversation in the next. But before that, thank you so much for listening. A huge shout out to all frontliners, people who cannot work from home. Please stay safe and stay healthy. That's right. Make sure to follow us on our Instagram at itsclarity.co for more updates and also turn on your push notifications on Spotify. Mm, and for more content, go to YouTube, subscribe to It's Clarity Co. Check us out. And also, we want to hear your thoughts. If you have more confessions for us, just drop us a DM Instagram, wherever it is, and we would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for listening. I'm Hazel. I'm Azura. I'm Jermaine. And we'll see you on the next episode of Clarity's Podcast. How was it? Love ya! <laughs> <laughs>